asking men to alter their route to make women feel safe is wrong. I've seen several posts on social media asking men to do things such as not getting off on the same floor as women on an elevator, walking quickly as to not walk behind them, and even not getting off on the same stop as another person on public transport. This expectation is morally wrong. Besides, men are more likely than women to experience physical violence, at least in the USA. Everyone gets sketched out by strangers every now and then. But if the mere presence of someone in a public space makes you uncomfortable, then that is your problem to solve. Most people are indifferent to your comfort or presence, and want to go about their day with as few mild inconveniences as possible. Deleted. Life becomes easier when you realize people can have shit opinions that are illogical, unreasonable, and narcissistic. It's like thorns on a rose, part of nature and not avoidable. I've found that unplugging from 99% of social media helps tremendously. Your consciousness and worldview is defined by what you mentally consume. So, it's in your best interest to only consume what is healthy and nourishing. Unplug from the negativity. I once stopped my car and got out of it close to this woman, then started following her. When she opened her building's doors, I ran and held it so I could get in as well, and thus managing to follow her into her building. At least this is how she saw it. What actually happened is that I parked my car and went home. We just happened to live in the same place. I was terribly aware of how scared she might have been and when she turned on the lobby light I felt the need to say I live here, don't worry. I don't think anyone has the right to demand of men to behave in the ways described by op, but I do believe we should be empathetic to situations and at least try to defuse some of the tension if we have the option to do so. As a woman, I'd rather you just go about your daily life. What I don't like is cat calls, where are you headed, do you live around here and creepy stares. These are obviously not okay. But I don't need someone to get off a floor early so I don't feel trapped. If you're not being a weirdo, then you're not a weirdo and we're all good. If you're being a weirdo it's likely I'll get off a floor early. There was a highly upvoted post on slash r slash all that said a man should never walk behind a woman at night. I was like what? I guess we should just all stand still and wait then, as not getting off on the same floor as women. That's extreme. I absolutely do alter my route if jogging at night and I see I am coming up on a woman slash elderly person. The inconvenience to me is minimal, I don't know, man. I'm a giant dude. I'm a gentle loving, human. But strangers see me as intimidating. On top of that, many women have been approached and attacked and most of us, men, will never feel as vulnerable as they do. You do what you want and you can get perturbed by whatever you want. Me. I understand how my presence can make others feel, especially a lone woman, when we're approaching each other on an empty sidewalk in the middle of the night. I'm gonna cross the street and continue on my way. And I don't feel it's wrong. Nor does it upset me. A little empathy is a beautiful thing. I just think people shouldn't ask men this because they shouldn't have to. If I'm walking alone near a woman at night, it's hard not to feel like I look creepy, plenty of good reasons to just walk ahead of her or slow down. Isn't that a little bit how Muslim culture operates, but in a reverse manner? The women have to alter their lives to not inconvenience or tempt men. Whether you do it to men or women, it's a petty and oppressive mindset, and on top of that, Altering men's daily routines to make women feel safer isn't going to stop actual sex crimes from happening anyways. It's a moot movement. This is literally no different than avoiding walking next to a black person at night. The double standards are so obvious. As a man, I just prefer to do this kind of thing in an effort to make women feel safer. I really take it for granted that at any time of day or night, I feel very comfortable walking around the cities that I've lived in. When I talk to my female friends about how they won't walk through parks or unlit areas at night, it makes me feel terrible. I figure that the smallest thing I can do is cross the street or slightly change my route home so I'm not walking directly behind a woman in front of me. Despite being so inconsequential to my life, 
the amount of anxiety or stress it could take off someone's shoulders is huge. It's simple. To ask someone to change their route is wrong, but wishing isn't. I'm F, 16, and today I was walking to my car after school and a guy made a gross sexual comment while I was walking past. We are right to be a bit scared by someone we don't know and want to get away from them. The majority of us have experienced or know someone who has been assaulted and that can really take a toll on us because we start to question what goes through people's head when they see us and what they will do.